If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. This is important for everybody to know about. I recently even been talking about, and now, you know, they're flooding the homeschooling with wording that would make you think, um, you know, and make children just plant seeds in their head about the LGBT. So I'm going to read uh, some of the stuff that's going on here. And this is from the Khan Academy. And it's laced with, you know, politically correct views on the LGBT and homosexuality. So, before I read you some of the stuff and the questions that it's asking kids, it's important to note who, of course, is starting to fund homeschooling, right? Because someone's got to, you know, fund this nonsense. So, in 2016, the man with multiple degrees from MIT and Harvard founded Khan Academy. Khan Academy seeks through its short online videos to make education on all topics easier and clearer. His videos being used are being used by public and private schools to help students learn at their own pace. Using a video, kids can go back over a topic if they don't understand it, blah, blah, blah. In 2010, the 501c3 nonprofit received $1.5 million. So this is, this is the homeschooling con academy. In 2010, it received $1.5 million from Bill Gates and $2 million from Google. So right there... You immediately know, well, there's a problem, right? Because there's control and there's influence behind the curriculum. Okay. That's how it always is, right? Remember the video I did? Google. Most of you probably don't. But your longtime subs on Skull and Bones talking about how Skull and Bones, you know, had this all set up so that families like the Rockefellers could be the ones responsible for the curriculum and all that type of stuff. So two million from the Google, one point five from Gates. Since then, AT and T and other corporations have poured money in. Nine million more has come in since then from Gates. Four million from the Broad Foundation. Five million from the O'Sullivan Foundation. Three million from Netflix founder Reed Hastings. And millions of more various foundations. Now, I'm a believer that potentially, you know, because things are inverted, maybe, you know, I always think to myself, well, they would get rid of homeschooling, right? And they would make it mandatory to go to school and all this type of stuff. But they're making it so there's still this illusion because... They probably feel like people will feel completely forced that this isn't a free country anymore if they force kids to go to school and the parents want to teach them. So instead, what do they do? They do what they do best, right? They give you the crap curriculum, and they're probably going to want you know you to film yourself in your home teaching your kid, like live stream it or something, and they'll have an organization funded by this you know a part of the CIA that'll monitor. But these are the people who are watching and I mean, excuse me, not watching, funding. And putting their hard-earned money, right? I mean, the money that they were just born to inherit, because that's what all of these elitists are. They just talentless, satanic, sick hacks. And this is some of the stuff from the Khan Academy that they're posting and teaching their kids. The lesson is on irregular plural nouns from F to V-E-S. The unsuspecting student is told, choose the collect plural noun to use in this sentence. Brittany and Sophia went to lunch with their blank every Saturday. You might say, okay, what's the problem? Well, the ch only choices to choose from are wives or wives. So Brittany and Sophia are obviously female names. Now, they'll come back and they'll be like, well, it's gender neutral type of name. So no one's offended. Brittany and Sophia are female names. Let's be realistic. I've never met a man named Brittany and I've never met a man named Sophia. <laughs> so instead of having husbands or wives as the choices or husband and husbands, it's wives or wives. Okay? You see how they're just doing this stuff? And people are noticing. Christians are noticing. Because the people who are homeschooling more and more are obviously Christians. It has to do with nobody, you know, people waking up, being aware of the New World Order, the control, how they're working Christianity out of the world. Obviously, they will not allow it in schools. And, of course, the other thing is the nations. But... We're even seeing in certain teachers. states, somebody messaged me about it, that nations are being forced in certain states on homeschool parents, which makes no Chocolate sense, here. which is I'm going to probably cover 
in another video because I don't want to go off the topic from this. So think about this, though. You're homeschooling your children. And they're trying to be politically correct by putting this stuff in and forcing it in. Now, hopefully parents are smart enough to pick up on this stuff. I mean, look, I can't even imagine some of the curriculum that they send, you know, for people to teach their kids. But this is just more forcing this onto people. Stop forcing it. That's the whole point of any of us that are pushing back is stop forcing it. You're forcing it, you know? And they like to use a few examples which are all staged where they have churches outside holding up picket signs, telling people to burn an hell and die and getting in people's faces. Are there people who feel like that? Sure. But the majority of Christians are not doing that. We're just saying stop forcing it. And they're just busy showing people these images of us being so hateful and bigots and then brainwashing lukewarm Christians like Taylor Swift does into calming down, to saying it's okay, to stop living in the dark ages. And it's not even about that. You know, what you do in your room, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's the fact that you're just shoving this everywhere. It doesn't take... I mean, you have to be really dumb not to see that it's getting forced on the society. From the characters Hello. of the shows, to YouTube trending, to this type of terminology, to all the stuff in schools now where there's like pages of genders you can choose from, from Facebook having dozens of genders you can choose from. <laughs> this is all being forced onto society. This isn't something anyone asked for, right? A society without any morals or any laws. No man, no woman, right? Everyone's just one, right? Remember the videos I've done on one, right? The Super Bowl, they have the big one sign. Everyone's saying one, right? It's not because it's their favorite number. Well, it is actually. Well, they have a few favorites, 33, 666, but one, right? Because remember, a new world order is a one world order. And these big names like Gates, I'm sure Soros is, is behind funding it too. If they have their names attached to anything, it can't be trusted. It just can't be. But I find it unbelievable that they even force curriculum on people. It's like, I, you know, are, are parents just going... Well, I, I want to homeschool, but I want, you know, the, what's the best homeschooling kit to get? Are they picking cons? Because I wouldn't teach them any of this crap. You know, I get it as far as reading and writing, but look how young they're targeting kids. Like, this is like a sentence. I mean, I don't know what age this would be targeting, but just teaching people, uh, teaching kids about nouns, right? And somebody would just read this and they'd be like, oh, yeah, it would go right over their head. Wives to wi wives to wives. Right? They wouldn't realize it's saying Brittany and Sophia went to lunch with their wives or wives every Saturday. And why, and how's this just, sublim it's so subtle how they do it. It's just so subtle. But that's how they do it. Right? That's how they do it. That's how they plant seeds. And they're always planting seeds. And that's what this channel is about showing everyone. I'm showing you how they're planting seeds. I'm showing you the symbols and the signs to show you who's in power and who's in charge. Because this is how they have to communicate. This is what they do. And these are the agendas they have to push across. So even homeschooling is completely becoming tainted now. Like I said, from the vaccinations are getting forced on homeschools, homeschooling parents, somehow, some way. I mean, these people just won't stop. And nobody's like, oh, that's weird. Why would, um, why would they want someone homeschooled to get vaccination? Because he's not going to be around kids at school. What are they going to go, oh, well, because he could go to the park and get everyone sick. Or, you know, he could go to the mall and get everyone sick. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so, again, as subtle as it sounds, and people are going to go, well, it's not a big deal. They are pushing this, you know, the lifestyle, the, the terminology, the wording into homeschooling. And we already know what's going on in public schools. And be aware of what you're reading and teaching. Be aware at all times. Because you might even have this curriculum and be a Christian mother and read it to your kid and not realize, wait, Brittany and Sophia, you might just read it and go, very good, and be thinking about, hope, hope, you know, he or she gets the question right. And little do you know, it's just planting and planting and planting. Because they're always attacking us. This war is going on always. Everything they do has an agenda behind it. They're always attacking us. And it all comes from the mind. You know, it's, it's true, there's the silent war and the chemicals and all that stuff, but this is mind control being done. This is how they're passing this new world order across. So thank you for listening to today's show. Be aware 
of these people. They're everywhere. God bless all of you and your families.